This is a Red Hat 8.5 server. In my last video, I have shown you how to configure a local EM repository using the DVD ISO image and how to install packages using the EM command through local repository. In this video, we will learn about the repo file and repo configurations. Friends, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share, and comment. Also, don't skip, please watch till end. Now, use the command EM repo list. It will show me all the repository available in the server. You can see dbd upstream and dbd basis. These are the two repository configured by me. Now go to the path etc yum.repository. This is the default location for all repo files. Here redhat.repo provided by the rhl and rhl.repo configured by me. Also please notice that all repo files have been the extension .repo. Means whenever you will create a repo file you have to give the extension dot repo now open rhl dot repo here dbd base os and dbd upstream these are the two repository configured by me please remember in a single repo file you can configure multiple repository as your requirement now dbd base os and dbd upstream this is the repo id and then name repo id and repo name should be unique for all repository please remember name and repo id any name you can mention but it should be unique for all repository dpd check is equal to one means whenever you will install a package using the yum command yum will take the dpd key and match with the key file and that key file is available in etc pki rpm happen dpg and the key file is provided by the red hat itself now enable is equal to one means this repository is enabled if it will change from one to zero this repository will be disabled and it will not check by the yum yum will check only the next available repository now base url is equal to file colon slash slash Media ISO base OS. This is the path media ISO and base OS, but this is the format file colon triple slash media ISO base OS. Then dpd key is equal to file colon triple slash. This is the path etc pki rpm hyphen dpg and this is the key file. Uh, please remember one means enabled and zero means disabled. Now, what we'll do, we'll disable a repository. Change to zero. Save the configuration. Now, yum clean all. It will clean all the uh, history. Now, take yum repo list. You can see only DVD base is showing and uh, DVD upstream is disabled. Now, try to enable it again. Save the configuration. Become a repo list. You can see DVD upstream and DVD base OS is disabled. Friends, this is all about the configuration of the repo files. If this video is helpful for you, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share, and comment. Also, thanks for watching.